Shanice here. I'm the creator of Pink Sugar Shop and Pink Sugar School where I create really cool party favors and then I teach you all how to do it yourself. So you all know my favorite program to create party favors with is Photoshop. So I promised my students I would start creating quick videos to help them along with where they're struggling. So I'm going to do really, really quick videos from now on, on um, my favorite techniques and how I like to do things in Photoshop. So the first one is going to be glitter. It's all about glitter. I'm going to teach you three different ways of adding glitter to your projects in Photoshop, and then you can choose which one works best for you. In Photoshop, there's always more than one way to do something. So it's basically really up to you with what you feel uh, is more comfortable to you and um, what you want to move forward using. So I have some glitter papers that I purchased online and they are over here in my folder. This first way is really quick. It's um, going to be using the paper as a clipping mask and it's literally like two steps and you're done. So. Um, over here in Photoshop, as you can see, I just have a document open where I've typed out my name. I made sure to pick a font that was kind of bold so you'll be able to see a lot of the glitter. So here we go. I'm going to pick a color over here. I'm going to go with one of these pinks. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag my um, paper over onto my Photoshop document. I'm going to double click to set it in place. And that's pretty much it. Like you're almost done. You're literally 90% done at this point. All you have to do now is go over to your layers panel, right click and click create clipping mask. Ta-da! How easy was that? If you do not have the drag and drop feature, I know a lot of you um, say your drag and drop doesn't work sometimes. You can also go up to file and then go down to place embedded. And when you do that, uh, um, your folders will pop up and you can just pick wherever your papers or your downloaded image is and it'll come into Photoshop that way. So I told you guys that was gonna be really quick. That's it, and now you have glittered text and you can actually move this around, it's really fun. So you can grab onto that layer where the paper is and move it around until you have the glitter exactly where you like it. So that's it. So the next way I'm going to teach you guys is how to um, add glitter by defining it as a pattern. So I'm actually going to take this and duplicate it so we can see them both at the same time. I'm going to delete that and then we're going to go in and bring in another color glitter. This time I'm going to be dragging it to my Photoshop icon so that it op opens up on its own window. Okay, so now that I have both windows open, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this uh, new, this is kind of like a teal um, colored glitter and I'm going to just come over here. I'm going to double click the background I'm just unlocking it. So then I'm going to come up to edit and I'm going to go all the way down to define pattern. It's going to bring up this little window where it tells me the name. You can rename it if you want. I don't. I just hit OK. So then um, it looks like it did nothing, but it actually did. It saved it in a special place. So then we're going to come back to our... Um, text over here and we're gonna click FX down here and we're gonna go to pattern overlay so it's going to bring up this window now and I get to choose my patterns that's another glitter I was working with previously so with this window what it's going to do is you're going to be able to change the opacity pick the pattern that you just created which should be last on the list click it and you're also going to be able to scale your pattern, which is very important. Make sure your resolution is good at 100% so your glitter is not printing out blurry. So as you can see, I can go all the way back to my solid and I can choose how bright I want it to be by changing the opacity. 
and then I can also scale my glitter flex so if you notice at 1000% it's blurry you can play with your glitter until it's bigger or smaller and you reach your desired look but I do want to remind you guys um, when you come out of here and you hit OK down here is your um, resolution this is what we're at right now we're at 30 percent 33 percent of how it's going to print I'm just gonna zoom in so you guys can see when we get to a hundred so if you like your glitter this way you can stop now you're fine if you find that it's blurry and you want to make it smaller this is where scale comes into play you can play with it and make your uh, glitter flex smaller and um, they will show blurry you have to like play with it until you get to a point where it's um, you're happy with it like that's clear and that's scaled to 25% but at 100% you guys can see this is clear and it's not going to be blurry when printed now I have a much finer glitter if I scale up I'll have a much more coarse glitter so that's those two techniques and um, we're already on the last technique. How fast was that? You already know how to glitter in like two secs. So um, now we're gonna go into the last technique, which is um, using styles. So sometimes you might go on websites and you might find um, different styles that you like. I like to, this is my favorite method, by the way. I don't use the clipping mask on the top. Very rarely do I use that. And I do define patterns quite often, but not usually for glitters because I'm really happy with the styles that I have. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this out the way. I'm going to copy it first, and then I'm going to just chuck these effects throw them in the trash so I can show you guys um, how to play with styles. So I have my glitter styles already um, loaded into Photoshop and this particular one that I use and I'll put it down below so make sure you check the description for the links is my favorite 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 pack of glitter. Um, it comes with all of these colors and different sizes, different um, gradients and everything so it's a lot to play with so pretty much for this one like once you download the styles you're already done you just want to make sure you're clicked onto the layer you want and then you just click whatever color you want it's that simple they even have like really cute like christmas red and green like like it's like mixed up already really cute and fun so down here you get to the finer glitters and what I really like about this is I'm going to show you guys a trick. So I'm going to pick this pink, right? But I wanted a little bit more pink. So what it does is it adds all of these effects over um, your text and you can play with them on your own. So if you don't want it to ha be uh, have a gradient where it's light to dark down here, you can just turn the gradient off and it'll be solid. If you want to change the color, this is where the fun part comes in. You click this little um, eyeball here that says color overlay, then get your toolbox up, and you can actually change the color so whatever colors they provide it, it doesn't in there. Like you can play with the color as much as you want. That's why it's my favorite. Like I can literally pick up any color that I want. I can even go in and pick up colors from something else. pick up the pinks in here so that it can match with my theme so yeah this one I use the most this is the easiest way to apply glitter to to me in my opinion this is the easiest way to apply glitter in Photoshop and it doesn't just stop at your text you guys you can always go back and pick up the rectangle tool a lot of people ask me how I um, get glitter on my chip bags like the top and the bottom of my chip bags I'm just gonna show you guys I'm gonna delete these and if this was the chip bag I'm gonna show you I just really create a rectangle band across the top and then I just duplicate it and bring it down to the bottom just like that and then I just go in and get my styles and add my glitter and that's it so super easy and I hope you learned something today and 
um, if you have any questions, make sure to write it in the comments below and I will answer as soon as I can. Thanks so much for watching my first quick Photoshop tutorial and I hope you come back and watch the others. Make sure to hit subscribe and click the little bell so that you're notified when the new videos come out. Thanks guys!